door shuts on Kelly killing yeah. her, and, and now then, it's and then wide enough. It's wide enough for Shane for to move. To walk through. What the fuck? <laughs> I was like, what? That is none of that made any sense. <laughs> what is happening? Uh, this is your captain speaking. <laughs> Let's make history. <laughs> Hello, welcome back to the 97th episode, 6th, 7th episode, one of these. 97th episode. Yes. yes, 97th episode of Good, Bad, or Bad, Bad, show we watch terrible movies. Tell you, should too. I'm your host. I'm your captain of this voyage. <laughs> I am captain I now. I am the captain now. <laughs> Look at me, sure. Look at me, sure. I'm the captain now. <laughs> Mr. Brian Shilligo, joined by uh, my other captain, the co-captain. I went nautical as well. Yeah, I you did. We found out where that's from yeah, other, in our yeah. mailbox, our mail show the other day. Uh, Mr. Kyle Hinton, joining me on this voyage, this three-hour tour, uh, or this 90-minute tour. Uh, yes. We're talking about... We are going... What are we uh, talking about, Kyle? We're, go- we're talking about Titanic 2. Yep, that title surprised me just as much as... <laughs> it's like, wait, they made another one? So Titanic 2 was... It was, it was made... Um, I think they were playing... Somebody probably came up with the idea, and they were like, well, I, I got to sell this closer to the 100-year anniversary. Yeah. And they were just like, nah, let's just go ahead and make the damn thing. Yeah. So they made it in tw- uh, 2010, it, and it was distributed by a silent film. This is our first studio, asylum movie. A studio known for their quality. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> This, uh, we, we hadn't done an Asylum film. This is our first one, I'm pretty I sure. I know you were kind of hesitant to all Asylum stuff just because it was no... Usually it seems like it's intentionally... Like, it's... Asylum's a very specific thing that's like, let's turn around. This one's a little different because... At least it feels different because I don't see what they're banking on. So a lot of Asylum films are like a ripoff of whatever the big movie coming out is that has a very similar looking cover that stupid grandmas in stores will pick up and buy for their grandkids. Transmorphers. Yeah, <sighs> transmor- all that kind of shit. And so like it's churned out. It's intentionally they take no time. This one's kind of that. But not quite because in Titanic 2, they're not. I don't think they're banking that people like the cover of this movie doesn't look yeah. like the Titanic, it didn't come out at the same time as James Cameron's Titanic. Like, they're, they're not looking and, for no, that. There's nothing really close to even looking like James Cameron Titanic. They're, no, no, this is like this is a survival movie. Yeah. Well, it, so it, is it feels Titanic, a little basically. bit more like Poseidon Adventure, yeah, yeah, absolutely. It's definitely like Poseidon Adventure kind of thing. There's got to be a morning. Um, so I, it's not really trying to capitalize off of like, I, I mean, they're capitalizing off. I think what they're capitalizing off is the, the absurdity of a film called Titanic 2, because it's like, what? This is stupid, um, which it is. It's real stupid. Mm-hmm. Um, the tagline of this movie was 100 years later, lightning strikes twice. <laughs> it's like, wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> strikes again or does it strike twice because it says 100 years later lightning strikes twice that would mean lightning would have to strike twice in that 100 years later I think it means 100 years later lightning strikes again never mind it doesn't matter it's anyway it's a stupid tagline so um, the, the film is about <laughs> it's it's set in tw- I think 2012 or 2014 whatever the 100 yeah, whatever year the 100, yeah. Uh, I think 12 I yeah think. whatever the 100 year anniversary of the Titanic setting sail was yeah and, and they're doing that but now in Instead of, well, instead of going from England to the U.S., it's going from the U.S. to England. And it has all the biggest modern technology. It's the the greatest ship, most expensive ship ever made. Again. Again, yeah. (laughs) Um, Yeah, (laughs) we'll talk about it. But one of my favorite, some of the features that they added to this thing for because it's the Titanic 2 and they don't want... They talk about, I'll just tell you now, it's so stupid. At one point, the guy says that they have ice sensors on this boat. Yes. That can sense an ice cube in the ocean 100, 100, from 500 yards yes. away. Can I remind you, this is Titanic 2. This ship is equipped with state-of-the-art ice detectors that'll sound if we get within 500 yards of an ice cube. That's pointless, Kyle. 500 yards? That's is, like nothing. Yeah. That's like, you're already going to hit it's it. It's 1,500 feet. And yeah. you're traveling at, what, 20 knots at least? It, it, a lot of times they're traveling around 40 knots, they say. Yeah. And and those things, I don't know if you know this, big cruise liners like that, not super agile. No. You, ain't, you ain't just whipping that bitch on a dime <laughs> like you're not. <laughs> <laughs> so 
So like 500 yards feels I could be wrong, but not enough time to like really do anything. You can see farther than 500 yards. Stupid. Anyways. 500 yards. That's the length of five football fields. Just shy of half a mile. But uh, so, uh, yeah, it's it's it, they built the next great uh, cruise liner because uh, it is by this rich inventor uh, or not inventor. He's like a mogul, I guess. Yeah, I don't even know what of, his some sort of he's like some sort of. Uh, yeah, like mogul industry. He's like mogul Elon Musk of yeah. Yeah, like is <laughs> like what they're going for, I think, kind of thing. Look, 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 look I got tired of space. Yeah. We're going in the ocean. oceans, baby. That's where it's at. It's, um, it's like James Cameron. Yeah. Yeah. Speaking of James Cameron, yeah. Yeah. it's like James James Cameron meets Elon Musk. He's just like just throw throw science and money at the ocean. At the ocean. <laughs> yeah. Um. And so he he wanted to build this big ship because he's like it's his hubris, which you mentioned, <laughs> which is hilarious. The, the production company for this, the D- Asylum is the distributor. Yeah. But the production company was Hubris Films. And we we'll should talk about uh, who the writer, director, and star oh, of this movie is. So Kyle. you want to talk about old Hollywood names? The guy's name is Shane Van Dyke. Mm-hmm. He is the grandson of Dick Van Dyke. Yes, and I didn't realize for the first twenty minutes of this movie or whatever that he was. I knew that I saw that Scott Van Dyke was the writer and director. Did not realize for the first like 30 minutes that he was the main, main character. Yeah. yeah, I was like, yeah. oh, fantastic, great. He cast himself as a million dollar playboy or a billion dollar playboy or whatever. <laughs> his so, introduction, yeah. his character introduction is fucking amazing. Uh, we'll, we'll get into yeah, that. Yeah, just a second. But so opening credits pop off, and it's uh, nothing more exciting to start your movie than a guy putting on a wetsuit, let me tell you, for yeah. five minutes. He puts, he puts on a wetsuit that has like a bill, a hat bill to it. Yeah. And I was like, do they? F- they have to make those, but that looks really stupid. It does look strange. And real quick, before we get much further, I I, I looked on IMDb and I was going through. I went through the the parental content like warning on IMDb. I just was, I was like clicked on it just to see like like what's in the movie. Basically, I wouldn't know if there were gonna be tits in the movie. There's no tits. Um, he. Uh, <laughs> But I was looking through, and and they have the different sections. It was like nudity, sex, none, and then it was like gore and violence is the uh, yeah gore and violence was the next category, and it was listed as moderate. And one of the points under gore and violence for the parental content advisory was this is the whole sentence: the entire starboard side of the ship is crushed, and immense pressure is put on the liner's turbines. Is that ship gore? Yeah, I was like, does this person think ships are living creatures? Like, what is going on? <laughs> that was the whole point. It was like, it gets hit by an iceberg and the ship gets hurt. Real bad gore, guys. Like, what, what the fuck is happening? Okay. Um, uh, and then, uh, so he's out surfing. Yeah, yeah, um, he's waiting for this. He's out the surf- dumbest is, way is, to it's surf- Greenland, right? Greenland. Yeah. So he's out surfing off the coast of Greenland, where they have this ice shelf. Yeah, and it's it, parts of it are, are falling Shearing off. off. Yeah, and he's <laughs> surfing the wave. This is the thing people do. It feels like it a really inconsistent like, way yeah. of like surfing. <laughs> yeah, it it, it 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 also like you got to be kind of lucky with those. Like ice shearing doesn't exactly happen. That, all the time. That's what I mean. It's super inconsistent. You could sit out there all day and not get a single <laughs> wave. Like, but he, he rode one, and it's like, oh, yeah, yeah it's gnarly. Cool. Well, cool. and then another one happens, and the special effects are glorious oh, the- here. Fucking weird. There, there's yeah. there's nothing better than watching uh, some. They went to some high. That are not even high. They went to some community college, and somebody was like, uh, "Can anybody do a crack on this?" I can look it up on video copilot. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> nailed it. Yeah, and then spent an afternoon figuring out how to do it. All the CG in this movie is like that. Yeah, very uh, something I could have done in a, in a few. You know, there's like there's like time. a few parts that are like 3D modeling, which is a little more but, complicated. Yeah, but, but those are probably pre-purchased assets, like the helicopter and stuff. Yeah. There's no way they like design. You know what I mean? They, they like bought a from somebody. They bought a fucking helicopter and they just animated it. Which yeah, that's pretty easy as well. Um, oh, but that wave was too big and it kills him. Great. Uh, and now Titanic two, we're introduced. We see it in the Harbor, getting ready to set sail. Kyle, yep. it's getting, uh, uh, and this is where we're introduced. 
to Hayden, uh, whatever the fuck his last name is. Welsh. Welsh. Yes. Hayden Welsh. Uh, he lands on his helicopter on the Titanic too. <laughs> and Kyle, what is how how is he? Uh, 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 Hayden how does he arrive? is unfortunate. He is he is stricken with a crippling disability that requires him to have four busty women, <laughs> two to each arm, to support him <laughs> as he <laughs> walks. <laughs> That was exactly what it was. And it gets to a point and the women walk away and he just crumples to the ground. <laughs> and he just has to have... <laughs> he could have two very large men do it, but he, instead he has four smaller women <laughs> supporting the weight yeah. of his... <laughs> but he's just walking around with these women under each arm uh, because, you know, he's a cool billion or billionaire playboy and that's what he does. Um, he said something about a line, like one of the, one of the women who is like walking yeah. with is like this ship is like really big and he makes a comment of like yeah. so big airplanes are big babe trains are big this this is monumental he's walking around on the boat with them and i love <laughs> one of the models who he's paying the, to be there looks up at one of the lifeboats on the ship and she's like I love that man. I love that man too. these boats don't look any safer Thank than the you. old ones just for show, darn. Real bad boys are down below. What do you know? You know a lot about uh, boat safety. <laughs> what? What's going on? Um, but they're like show lifeboats. Yeah. Those aren't the real lifeboats. The real lifeboats are down below. <laughs> Those are just for for the historical <laughs> significance. I don't even know what the point. Fuck the point of them is. Um, uh, uh, but we also we're introduced the, to Amy. Uh, Amy, yeah, she is a nurse or something she's like the yeah medical staff on the cruise ship basically but it's it's her and her other friend kelly they're both like medical infirmary staff on this cruise ship and they are going to go off on the maiden voyage yeah they're getting ready for the maiden voyage and we find out that there's some history between amy and hayden they dated at one point or something right that i thought you were over him besides doesn't your dad like hayden no the hayden that i knew he doesn't exist anymore uh, and then we're also introduced at this time to Amy's dad. Uh, I can never played remember his actor's name. Bruce something, right? The guy from uh, X-Men. X-Men who, who shoves plays- his face through. <laughs> the- <laughs> he, he played uh, Robert Kelly in, uh, in X-Men. Yeah. Yeah, uh, who gets all the bones sucked out of his yeah, body or whatever. He turns the water. He, he just turns, turns the, water. the water. Yeah, 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 that guy. That's the only thing I've ever seen that guy in, but mm. I vividly remembered him from that. Uh, and he's going to spend this entire movie in a green cockpit of a helicopter. Yes. <laughs> yes. Oh, my God. So he's going to this, he's going to Greenland to find this uh, this this ice shelf that's yeah. like cracking. It's, it's cracking because the uh, global warming, and so all the ice is melting and it's cracking. Well, like, it's not only that, there's like also like, earthquakes that are happening yeah, con- like, is there, yeah there's also earthquakes there. or something it's weird it, it has a whole lot of stuff going on at once yeah. but so he's going and he's going to meet uh and find out about this ice that's shearing off or whatever um uh but he's talking and he's talking about how his his how amy's getting on or he's talking to her on the phone maybe at this point i can't remember mm-hmm. but he um he basically sets up the little like the east the the, the little breadcrumb that he's like um i don't know i don't like that titanic two ship uh, we had to rush it through safety inspections, and it barely passed or whatever, because, like... Yeah, well, that's before I realized the rush job that they had committed to in order to make this anniversary date. Dad, did the ship pass inspection? Barely. Uh, you know, they had to get it just in time for the 100-year anniversary, so they, like, cut corners, ba- basically implying that the ship's not quite as safe as yeah. it's made out to be. Um, Which, by the way, for everything that happens in this film... Doesn't fucking matter how safe the ship would have been. No, yeah, yeah. It gets hit by a fucking tsunami, this, like a, a 400 foot tall tsunami carrying literal, like, house sized boulders of, like, ice and shit. Like, yeah. well, you're not gonna engineer over engineer that. Like, I mean, okay. And, and their and their yeah. thing was like, well, we engineered it to hit an iceberg head on. We didn't think about icebergs hitting us from the side. It's like, all right. I mean, in. In the original the Titanic, Titanic, it's the it's, side of the yeah, boat that has, I got okay. cheered, whatever. <laughs> Great. Well done. Um, so, he, yeah, he's going to Greenland to do some research or whatever because he's in the Coast Guard, and I guess that's what they do. I don't know. How long do we have before it collapses? It's hard to say. 
But when it does, the entire North Atlantic will be devastated by the shockwave. Um, there's some great, when he is in Greenland, though, there's some great uh, composited <laughs> CG shots of them walking oh through God. the snow. It's, it's here. Ah. here is like powder or whatever, like white powder stuff they put down, a green screen, and then composited Greenland crap behind them, and then snow in front of them. <laughs> it's real good. It's it's glorious. Oh, I love it. Um, and so if the ice falls in, it's going to cause a giant tsunami and that's going to happen. And it does happen while they're standing there. Like literally good timing, iceberg or glacier. Yeah. Like as so, they're hey, standing hey, on, on it. This, this guy's here? All right, yeah. let's, do, let's do the thing. Um, <laughs> uh, one of my favorite things is um, as it's happening, they're like collecting samples or something. There's like another, there's a red shirt with them. <laughs> yeah. They got to have the red yeah, shirt there. There's a red shirt. But the, everything starts, as everything starts collapsing, they don't react for the longest. They're like just looking around they're like, go, huh? What? <laughs> it's like fucking go, and then she's like run, and they start running, and then <laughs> dude, so that dude, it's everything's starting to crack around them. They have like this insanely shitty video copilot, like we mentioned yeah. before, uh, cracking Crack. of the ice, and the guy just kind of like slips and falls into <laughs> the chasm. Goes, ah! <laughs> it's like gone. He's just like ah! It's like falls through the ice. In the And then uh, the this I can't remember her name. I don't know how much they say it. Like the scientist late lead mm. scientist lady, um, she almost falls. But uh, <laughs> but good old dad, whatever his name. I don't know any of these characters' names other than Amy and fucking Hayden. Uh, he catches her at the last second and saves her. It's it's glorious moment. Um, oh, it's fantastic. Uh, but then they so they get on the helicopter and they take off like just in time. <laughs> right as it's called collapsing and they get up and they're, they're they get away and then this cut is so fucking weird and abrupt they're flying away in the helicopter the glacier falls into the ocean this giant wave comes and right as the waves like we we watch the wave for like a split second and then it just hard cuts and now we're in the, the diner in like the restaurant of the cruise ship like, I know what they were going for because they match cut it to somebody putting ice in their drink like haha you're there we, I found it Bruce Davison that That's the, the actor. Actors, That's the uh, the X Men guy. Yeah, fantastic. But so like it's a funny like oh we 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 cut from the the glacier dropping into the water creating a tidal wave to somebody dropping their ice cube in, in their oh black. man look the symbolism get it Ooh. <laughs> get it <laughs> we're clever so he gets on the horn uh Bruce Davidson gets on the horn and he he's talking to like somebody at somewhere I don't even know uh, yeah. somebody with the Coast Guard and he tells him tell them to steer clear of any signs of ice. I repeat, tell them to stay away from the icebergs. Would they not normally? Yeah. Like, what, what does that mean? Some ship's like, hey, hey, we're going to get into this iceberg. So yeah. you guys can go out, like, touch it or something like yeah. that. Or we need to get some cubes for or champagne. We're doing oh, fancy stuff. Fancy stuff. We got fancy glacier whiskey ice cubes. <laughs> That's how you do it. Um, and then they issue an ocean-wide tsunami alert, and they start... Re they start Which, <laughs> by the way, tsunamis normally affect coastal. It's not going to yeah. affect a ship out there. Yeah, but. and you know where it came from. It does. It's not ocean wide. It's literally like like somebody in the Indian Ocean, yeah. for instance, is going to be like not even going to no sucks to suck. You got to be somewhere near <laughs> Greenland, basically, for this to be a problem. But um, they uh, so they set off the alarm and they start. And so now they're they're people on the boat are finding out and they're starting escorting people down to the lower. I think a lot of this is like they're trying to like mirror stuff that happened in the original Titanic where they're like get the people down to the lower decks or whatever mm -hmm. and then other people are like oh we got to do this and that but the stupid thing in this movie is that the whole point of we'll get to it eventually but they can't even evacuate like I don't know what they could have done in this movie to survive the people on yeah, the boat nothing. they literally nothing nothing they would have done mattered other than to not be on the boat this wave is clocking in at 843 miles per hour now 500 yards isn't going to make a damn bit of difference uh, and then uh, this very clearly it was where I started to realize and notice I for the longest time because when they shoot the opening they're on a cruise ship it looks like they you know they're walking around on the on the deck of a cruise ship or something mm -hmm. and I was like oh they probably like make sense for this kind of movie if you're making a a, 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 a Titanic two movie they they probably rented a cruise ship for a while and they're gonna be filming on a cruise ship. They rent. They they were on a cruise ship for a day to shoot the top deck scene. Yes, yes. This movie is filmed in a goddamn Marriott hotel. For that, yes, <laughs> that, and then for all the lower ship stuff, they went to a factory. Yeah, they went to a factory that is that is the entire foundation of this factory they shot in is nothing but cement. Yeah, 
Yeah. On this ship. All, yeah, this <laughs> ship. The cement hallways and, and floors <laughs> in this ship. And the fucking Venetian blinds in the goddamn the 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 captain's like the the cockpit or whatever where they're driving the boat. It's clearly a conference room at the local fucking Hyatt Regency or whatever. Like it's so fucking stupid. Just wanted to say thanks for choosing the airport Hilton for your conference. You're welcome. I'll leave it alone. Everybody is always looking out at the sea through windows we can't see, and all the other windows have the blinds closed, so we can't see the fucking guy smoking a cigarette out in the parking lot at this fucking motel that they're filming this goddamn movie oh, in. God, oh, that's so, so good. stupid. And then, uh, um, uh, so yeah, and they talk. He's like, "Well, we'll be fine because so even though the tsunami's coming, Hayden's like, we'll be fine because we got those sweet fancy ice detectors. They'll tell us 500 yards before we get hit by an iceberg." And for the record, people, for the record, we are aware that that's an air, you know, a, a oh, captain, oh man, it's also from like that. the dollar store. So <laughs> <laughs> before people start getting on us about being like, "Hey, that's for pilots." If you want your own funnypartyhats.com oh man <laughs> but it made me look nautical I feel like okay well, it's skipper <laughs> um, are y'all ready kids aye aye captain uh, so there, there's also a submarine that is pointless just to get killed like, hang on hang on no no no, no. Yeah, what this is amazing okay so this scene's amazing because like th th this is where they get the warning call about ice and they're like they're saying we, we need to dive deeper how much time any minute sir dive Sir, there's Do it! Dive, dive, dive! And then the, the the captain of the submarine is like looking through the periscope, which, by the way, he, he is useless because he's like, it's like underwater. underwater. They're not on the surface yet. <laughs> but, but he just looks over and goes, let's get the cigar smoking. <laughs> All right, confirm settings, plot the chart. I let's get this cigar smoking. What a line. That guy, he was reading his part, and he saw that line. He's like, it's this only, is it. It's only said better by the fact that the guy behind him, which is telling him all this information, is looking Staring at a screen. At at, is looking at a screen that is green screened black. Yeah. Right. What is happening? There's He's a point where he walks in front of it, and it does that <laughs> halo effect, because they did a really shot, a shitty job keying it, where you can see nothing but a green halo around this guy's head. <laughs> and there's... He's like not reading information. He's like looking at nothing. I don't know. Yeah, the they forgot to put in all the information <laughs> for that. Latitude 40 degrees 46 north. Longitude 50 degrees 14 west. Let's burn this cigar. <laughs> you know, that guy saw that line on his sides that day and was like, oh, I got it. This is my moment, Kyle. This is my big break. Let's not to, not to throw it back too far, but it reminds me of Shark Attack 3 with the cigar guy. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> Get him out of there! Get him out of there! Get him out of there! That's Independence Day. That is one. That is one of those lines that I can never not hear it being delivered exactly that way. Is the dude? Get him! This isn't happening fast enough. Get him out of there! This isn't happening fast enough. Get him out of there! <laughs> I can love that line in Independence Day. Um, uh, but they still they can't dive quick enough and they get fucking obliterated. Yeah, they, they just get, get swept up in this. Well, they get hit by an iceberg underwater. Yeah. Right? Well, there's a point where they show up later. Because they get thrown into the ship. They get, I think, oh, I think does it? I think it's one of the things that gets thrown into the ship. I had a hard time seeing it. It's so dark, like, yeah. when they're showing, like, the waves and shit. Well, you, you know, you gotta, you gotta cover up how shitty the ground is. Yeah, they, <laughs> absolutely. They're like, just turn the brightness all the way down so they can't see. <laughs> um, and then, so they gotta they gotta outrun the ice, Kyle, on the cruise ship, back on mm -hmm. the cruise ship. They know the tsunami full of ice cubes is coming, and they gotta outrun it. So they wanna push. The engines are cruising at 40 knots, but it's not going, they're not going fast we enough. We can't do, we can't do it, Captain. Let's give it all she's got. Yeah, basically, he, that's literally what the, the like, second major or first mate or whatever is like she's built for speed push it mr walsh can i remind you that these engines have not been thoroughly broken in yet if we push them she's built for speed she can handle it yeah but he's like well we haven't we haven't stress tested the engines yet they might not take it but nope they turn it up to 50 knots and the engines blow <laughs> so shit starts hitting the fan people are freaking out um and i love this i didn't understand this like so they're going to the lower decks and her dad mm -hmm calls her up and is like she's like where everybody's going to the lower decks he's like no stay off the lower decks 
There's ice in the water. It's being pushed in your direction. I need you to get as many people to the upper decks as you can. Go to the upper decks and get in the middle, away from the railings. I'm like, why is the upper deck safer than... I mean, I guess you can get... This whole movie, he's telling them not to get on the lifeboats. Mm-hmm. Not to... He just says, just sit on this ship that's sinking. Yeah. And what? Die? Like, what is the... <laughs> well, you don't want to go... You don't want to get on life ships. You want to get, like, really get... Basically, find, like, a flare gun or, like, a pistol. Put it up to your head <laughs> and, just, and just save yourself the Because help's trouble. not coming, and you're just... You're fucking dead. <laughs> but, yeah, he literally is like, oh, don't get on the lifeboats because they'll get hit by ice, more ice. So just stay on this boat that's sinking, I guess, is my option. Okay. But they get slammed. Everything goes crazy. Uh, I love there's this one staircase they keep showing that people keep falling <laughs> at the top of. Like, people are, like, running and they keep falling at the top of the staircase. It's like, a, it must be a slippery. Somebody needs to put one of those slippery when wet signs down there. Uh, and this is where we get one of the great lines where uh, they say they're in there talking in the in the captain's, like, the cockpit or whatever. And they say, Okay, begin the evacuation. Fill all the boats that we have. Women and children first. Looks like history's repeating itself. <laughs> Brilliant. Good stuff. Um, and then we think Hayden's going to dip because he's got his helicopter. Yeah. And think he, they, gonna, they, 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 everybody wants to be like... His his assistant or whatever. Yeah. His go. people are like, we got to get out of here. Get in, sir. Wait a minute. What about the passengers? We're handling it. You need to get in the air. But he's like, he he, he has his moment. He be, he, this is his arc as he becomes a selfless guy. Which, by the way, there's nothing to really imply how that this he's a particularly selfish guy. No, not not until they they just say it a couple times throughout the movie. They're like, oh, he's not like he used to be. He's not the Hayden I knew. He's he's a jerk now or whatever. It's like okay, um, but he puts a bunch of injured people on the helicopter and flies them away. We don't mm. see any of that, but he says to do it, and we assume it happens because then the helicopter flies away. Uh, but now he's gonna go save uh, Amy and Kelly because they're. Yeah, well, he's, get, he's getting things. Amy, and then Amy's like, "We gotta go find Kelly. I, I can't see her." Blah, blah. So, so everything's going to hell. Yeah, and they are going to try and find out where she is. And this is, <laughs> this is, the this is the scene that I watched that I was I could not stop laughing at, <laughs> regardless of how much some people say it, it, you some said it people. makes sense. I think it makes um, some sense, Kyle. I'm not so a doctor though. They're, they're running. I'm a pilot. <laughs> so they're they're. It's also Dutch angle shot. They're running down this <laughs> cement hallway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they get into this the is infirmary. after he gets beat up by a guy, right? <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. Dude's like, <laughs> oh, it's matter. all your fault. It's all. Oh. <laughs> it's all your fault. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay. So they're running down this hallway, and they get into the infirmary. She has like the heart monitor machines falling on her yeah. and she's like bleeding and stuff she's bleeding so they say we need to find uh get she, they're scrambling through the the cabinet the medical supplies and yeah. there's, there's like there's gauze there's, there's all kinds of medical there's supplies all sort it's of medical like a stuff. fully stocked medical cabinet yeah, yeah. and they 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 tell her and by the way she's not like gasping for air or no. anything like that they they don't explain anything that's going on no, they just, but they she's say, just bleeding give me your credit card <laughs> yeah Grab a credit card. Give me a credit card. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And then she pulls out the credit card, and he's like, she's like, I need tape. And then he spends like eight minutes digging through the thing for tape. <laughs> they or get tape, and they put down two of the <laughs> flimsiest pieces of tape I've ever seen. They really do. Um, and now I was looking this up because I was like, what the fuck is happening in this moment? I was so confused, and I looked it up, and there's. For certain types of chest wounds, if you're just messing with the there's air coming in and out, you do have to seal it with something. And I, one of the things I saw said you can use a credit card because obviously a credit card isn't air won't go through it. But you would think, being in a fully stocked medical infirmary, that they may have you know some sort of uh, thing for that kind of purpose, like that exists. That's like a sterile medical device or or piece of equipment as opposed to this dude's credit card out of his wallet. But sure. Yeah, I gotta look this up now. <laughs> I looked it up. It's a real thing. No, I know. It's fucking condition. Oh. Anyways, it's where... <laughs> <laughs> so, so there, there, I mean, there's a condition of, you know, whenever you're... Whenever the... 
vacuum of space that your body uses to take air in whenever that's disrupted and th- th- that's what the um, gasping sucking chest wound sucking chest wound sucking chest basically wound. is is when the the lining of your lungs or the chest cavity has been torn and you can no longer create a vacuum welcome to the good bad or bad bad medical school <laughs> <laughs> well they, they have a condition name for that i don't know exactly yeah. what it is i'm sure somebody in here knows what it is but that's what that particular thing would be used for yeah when that happens you cannot talk do you know yeah. why you cannot talk? Because you cannot breathe. breathe. Yeah, you would think, yeah. But no, she's just, she's fine. Uh, but she's bleeding a little. But yeah, it's all stupid. But it, my favorite part of the whole thing. So even if, whether or not you, it would be a thing you would do or, or why they wouldn't use something else because they're in the fucking infirmary, whatever. <laughs> they tape, like you said, two tiny strips. Yeah, it's like a little, and then she, and then they st- <laughs> she gets up and it's, it's just like, hanging. oh. It's like immediately hanging. <laughs> well, good job, guys. Well done. You're the best. Best yep. doctor ever. Where to God, I would rather watch some of these people drown than give them CPR. Uh, and then, so they're also, meanwhile, they're, um, we, there's this one insert shot right after this scene of a guy, like, inching his way down a handrail holding his head, and that's like... But the, he's, he's got to get to the turbines to keep them oh, running. Oh, is that that's, what that that's is? That's what his okay. job is. But the scene we watch of him, like, slowly... <laughs> Sliding it, it, it down really the railing ridiculous. is really stupid. Uh, and that's the guy that dies of the fire later, yeah, right? Yeah, <laughs> there's a because he's like really struggling to yeah. work his way to this, and then he gets around the corner. He's just like, that's fine. That's fine. <laughs> yeah, because it's clearly like the camera's tilted and not the thing he's on, yeah. but he's making it look like it is. Yeah, because like these people, the, the way they show like these people like falling down the ship, yeah. is they just literally attach a rope yeah. or something like that, a string drag to them, them and just drag them. <laughs> yeah. Oh. <laughs> So he's uh, he's doing that. He's got to get the turbines, keep the turbines going. Uh, meanwhile, they're launching the lifeboats, which are like subs. They're not lifeboats. They're like full on miniature rid- subs. They look ridiculous. Yeah, they look ridiculous. It's a CG su- sh- sub shoots out of the side of the. There's a lot of S's there. Um, uh, uh, the boat. Um, and like I guess one of the, the somebody's on it that we care about. I think one of the ladies from earlier. It doesn't mm. matter. She dies. We don't even see them die. We just find out they die because yeah. the ice crushes get, their sub. I no, think. no, they get they get swept up. So they're like basically super spun uh, <laughs> they get tumble dried and they, yeah. <laughs> they get the spin cycle inside that thing um uh and then so we cut there's a little scene where we cut back um that's ir- irrelevant that we watched the captain being shell-shocked in the hotel conference room but it doesn't matter um this part where they're going oh and then the he elevator. explodes this is where yeah uh, yeah yeah okay so the, the turbine indian they can't be fixed it explodes yeah the captain's gone the captain fucking explodes one, one, one of the like his first mate or something like that it gets like a face full of explosion we think he's dead he's not quite yeah uh, and then they're in the elevator when this whole thing explodes and <laughs> what what what's some what's common things that you find in an elevator brian uh, for me, I always find uh, fireman axes in them. That's routine. <laughs> what, Kyle? You don't see a lot of fireman axes in not, not, o- not only do you get a fireman axe, also a perfect cell phone signal. <laughs> of course. Of course, Kyle. Out in the middle of the ocean, yeah. in an elevator shaft, yeah. in a ship. Yeah. <laughs> makes perfect sense i love to the, the 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 one girl that's in the lifeboat when the captain explodes her reaction i need you to just put this clip oh, in so she's good. like no <laughs> it's amazing but they, they are like we need to get out of this elevator he keeps trying to push it up he goes the shaft must have collapsed this isn't good. The shaft, the shaft must have collapsed on us. Yeah. yeah. But then he I just hate when my g- shaft collapses. <laughs> it's the worst guy. Let me tell you. Then he just pushes it up anyways and climbs out. And you're just like, you just said it collapsed. Yeah. I, I, and they also, why were they, they took the elevator to begin with, which I love. She's like, that seems like a terrible idea. And he's like, well, we don't have any choice. I'm like, seems like you might. Dude, stairs? Just take, keep taking stairs. the stairs, whatever. Sure. <laughs> We can take the elevators. The elevators? We don't have a choice. Take a fucking elevator on a burning, sinking ship. Well, he gets idea. the axe, and then he... <laughs> he fucking put, <laughs> puts the axe in his shirt. Sure, like a goddamn Ninja Turtle. <laughs> <laughs> uh-huh. well, they, they climb up, They climb up, and this is one of those things of, like, them, of people trying to show... Uh, filming at a different angle in order to show yeah. something's much 
taller than it yeah. is. Well, they're, like, they're climbing up this ladder and <laughs> their hair is falling down instead of behind them. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and also, I love... So he... When this scene starts... They climb first, mm -hmm. right? Oh yeah, they climb and then first. he's at the bottom. And he's at the, and then they get to the, the top, the and he the comes top. out first. I'm it's like, a, did he climb over no, them? No, that's not the only one we're getting because we're gonna get to the part where uh, they try to open the door. Oh, All right, oh, so. the, that's the hold on. Before we get to that, that's the fucking craziest scene in this whole goddamn movie. Real quick, before we get to that, we got to talk about when the C100 <laughs> explodes when they go to re the uh, the dad is in the helicopter and they need to refuel because they're running out of gas. Right. And this is right around the same time. And I just got to talk about the scene real quick because so the C100 shows up to refuel. Yeah. First off, they're refueling like 500 feet above the ocean. Like <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Like they're like go up a little higher. What the fuck are you doing? Um. But so they're they're refueling. And I love this. So as they refuel, they're about to start refueling. Giant wave shows up. Again, we never see any of these waves in any like totality, and it's hard to get the scale because the CG is so terrible mm -hmm. that they it, 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 it's so dark. You you never get like, oh my god, what a big. I guess cool this wave. is like the closest. Yeah. You get. Yeah, but they're like, oh, we gotta pull up. So they pull up in their helicopter. And they get just over the top of the wave. Yeah. And they get away. But, but the C-100 can't make the it. The C-100 can't make it and gets hit by the fucking wave and explodes immediately. But then it cuts back to the helicopter. And I need you to put this lady's reaction. The lady on the helicopter just watched the C-100 explode. I swear on my Smiling. life, she smiles about it. <laughs> so it cuts to her and she's like, <laughs> like what, oh what is that reaction? That's one of those ones that felt like for sure uh, they put the C-100 exploding in way after they shot anything yeah, and they just yeah. had that They're just shot. like, I don't know what we we'll just do this. Let's use this shot. Uh, but but, but she's get, smiling. <laughs> I don't know. But Hayden gets out of the elevator shaft first. He just teleports in front of them. And then they're getting to the point where they're opening this door. Oh, my and God. And they say, I th weren't these, not aren't these uh, supposed to open manually? Automatically, yeah, but they're, yeah. they're jammed because I'm a shitty ship maker or whatever. The door's jammed. I thought the door's open manually. They're supposed to. This yes. So he he gets what the, the fuck, he gets the huh? axe in there and wedges it and opens it just enough where Amy can Amy get through. Amy can sneak in a little but bit, then, but she can't get through. Yeah. So Kelly kind of pushed her through, and then the axe snaps, and she gets crushed, and she's just bleeding out <laughs> a lot. Yeah. I need to break down this scene because the scene makes no sense, Kyle. He uses the axe. He pries open the door a little bit. Yeah. Just enough so she can kind of get through. She starts sliding through and she gets stuck. She's like, I can't get through. She's like, I can't get through. And he's like, it's slipping. And like the axe is like bending and full. And like, he's like, it's going to shut. And then at one point he says, pull her back. Yeah. Pull her back. Pull her back. He says, pull her back. And somehow in the act of pulling her back, she goes through the door forward. and then Kelly falls after her. And then the door shuts on Kelly, killing yeah. her. And, and now then, it's and wide then enough. It's wide enough for Shane for to move. To walk through. What the fuck? I was like, what? That is, none of that made any sense. What is happening? Oh my God. Uh. Oh, and then there's another scene immediately that is just as stupid where they come across the fucking the electrical cable in the water in the hallway. This is so dumb. This is so dumb. <laughs> and I love Hayden, who's a billionaire, and I guess this is because he the, like trying to like be, show that he doesn't really know anything. He walks and they look at it and he's like, As long as we don't touch the wires, and our feet aren't on the ground, we won't be electrocuted. Right? I don't know. Well, I guess we'll climb over it. He's like, because... We won't let you if we don't touch it. We right? don't touch it, right? He's like, looks at her like, right? And I'm, I'm like, an electrician. And I'm <laughs> like, you don't understand at all how electricity works, dude? Yeah, man. It's not going to jump out and get you. Like, what is... Uh, so they, they shimmy across this pole. Or Hayden does first. He shimmies across this pole to get over the, like, electrocuted water or whatever. And then sh it's her turn. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this fucking moment is so stupid and again this movie one of the, this is one of those things where because the budget is so low and because this is all like terrible stunt people and like uh, the sets aren't good is everything has to be shot in close up so you never get any sense of like 
what is actually Otherwise, happening. Otherwise, it looks incredibly unimpressive. Yeah, but you never get any sense of like what is actually happening in the scene. But she's getting, she's almost all the way across, and then her hands start slipping. And she's like, I'm slipping. And Hayden like jumps up to come He's get like, her. I better add an extra like yeah. 180, 200 yeah. pounds on this. So I thought he was going to like grab her or like carry her on his no, back. No, he just gets her arm back up. Literally, her hand slips off. He grabs her arm and puts it back. She couldn't have. I need the movie to explain to me in that moment what it thought was happening. Because her hand, she's holding two hands. One hand slips Ugh. off. And the thing that saves her is a person lifting that hand back up to the bar. Could she not lift her own arm up to the And then she just grabs a... It's like, I'm good now. I'm good. It's like the end of that one fucking movie where the guy's like... The lady's hanging on the... Uh, what was that? The one with... Um, where they're in the abandoned like uh, house um, uh, with the eagle screams and shit. Oh, a rough cut. Oh my god! Rough cut where at the end where the, the girl's like hanging from the thing and he saves her by just moving her hand over to a different rail and she's like, oh, oh okay. I'm fine now, yeah. <laughs> it's like the same fucking thing. Sorry, I don't know how to climb stuff. <laughs> yeah. Ugh. Um, but they have to get to the diving facility because yeah. the lifeboats are death traps. That's, what, that's yeah. what Bruce Davidson Bruce. I want you to stay away from the lifeboats. Just stay out of the lifeboats. What? What do you mean? I mean, there's another wave coming. Bruce Davidson tells him, so he's like, get to the diving thing, get like some, uh, the you know, diving equipment. And on the way there, though, they hear the guy dying. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're like, hey, hey, you okay there? Yeah, uh, just explosion, fire. <laughs> Uh, I'm dead. <laughs> <laughs> and this scene is literally just there so we can watch this guy spit blood on the wall and then we move on. And so that Hayden can feel a bad about yeah. about this whole yep. thing. Um, and then, then <laughs> they get in this diving facility and they open up a plywood cabinet. Yeah, a locker. Yeah, and they're like, oh, here's all the diving stuff. Only one left. Only one left. Oh, no. And then their brilliant plan, which is immediately what I thought is... So they just get the diving equipment and she puts it on. Yeah. And then they sit well, she, in the she locker. Gets, she gets the, 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 yeah, they get in the walk. But there's a point where she's like, Okay, listen. I'm going to take off the wetsuit. Little chance. Hayden. Forget about it. It's not enough. Hayden, you're going to freeze to death. I'm going to drown before that. I, I don't think I can make it. We, you should put on the suit. It's like, he can't fucking fit in that. You can, if it's perfect for you. But he's like twice your size. Yeah. yeah, you would think. I don't know how wetsuits work. Maybe they're magic, Kyle. <laughs> maybe you they're worn a wetsuit. I don't they're, know. They're bigger on the inside. <laughs> yeah, maybe. Um, um, and then, uh, so at this point, I was like, oh, 100% we're watching this guy drown. As soon as like we got oh, yeah. to this part, I was like, oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Somebody saw Casino Royale. We're watching this guy drown <laughs> for sure. Um, and uh, But they get in the locker, and I'm like, you're just going to wait in there for the boat to sink and then swim? Well, got a capsize. Right. But like, why wouldn't. If she has the, if she has that now, why wouldn't she just go out and like go get in the water and swim away from the because boat? Because that requires a lot more filming than they true. Were really because to do. otherwise, then now we just get to have them sit in a fucking cabinet for the next ten minutes and talk to each other <laughs> as he slowly freezes to death and drowns. <laughs> yeah, but they come up with a brilliant idea that uh, she has like thirty minutes of air. Yeah, that's a, that's a much the tank has. And so she's going to basically wait it out while they have this distress beacon going. Yeah. And he's going to drown and hopefully they come in time to revive him. I thought that was hilarious because I'm like, well, but how is your body going to not be just drugged down in the ship? That's like he's expected. Like the idea is that somehow that he's going to like she's going to drag her body along, which is what actually ends up fucking happening. Water is incredibly buoyant. (laughs) (laughs) Wait, no. Wait, he's he's buoyant in the water. (laughs) Uh, But but they had that whole thing. Did you just fucking rip this off from the abyss? This water is only a couple of degrees above freezing. I go into deep hypothermia. My blood will go like ice water. What? I just called to turn my blood like ice water. I have a better chance of survival in this kind of temperature. They absolutely did. And I've never even seen The Abyss. <laughs> That's another one of I, I watched that. Kyle being mad at Brian for not <laughs> seeing a movie moment. Which, which weirdly enough, also has the same actress who played uh, the sister in Scarface. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Another uh, film. Yeah. That I haven't. Seen. <clears throat> Wait, what? Uh, Mary Elizabeth, like, Mastriano or something like that? I'll tell you. It is. 
She's not on the box, so <laughs> <laughs> never mind. Uh, but but it, it's her, and she drowns, and Ed Harris's character has to pull her to the main part of the base where they attempt to revive her. Yeah. Um, but so we get to watch him drown in a box. It's hilarious watching this guy freeze to death in a box for a while. Um, I laughed a lot at it. Um, <laughs> Bruce Davidson's like, all right, I need to look like I'm going to put on this wetsuit and then my stunt double is going to do all the rest of the acting. What? God damn it. It's going to do the rest of the acting for me. And they just do a really sh- kind of weird job, kind of interesting job at, filming a green tank of water that they composited oh yeah around. like the hallways and yeah stuff so and it's things. like they're filming underwater but it's like also green screen underwater yeah yeah and i love so he, he jumps off the helicopter and he but he has a rope we got a thousand feet there just let it out as long as you hold on to that i'll be fine <laughs> which is like if, if, if the, the, this is how much rope i have a thousand I run feet out of, he says yeah a thousand feet that's not a thousand That's not, feet. Not, not a thousand feet, and it's not nearly it's enough. It's like 50 feet. Yeah, and also when we see him swimming through later, there's a wide shot where he swims through, and there's no, no rope. rope. <laughs> no. Nope. Great. Um, but as soon as he jumps off, the helicopter runs out of fuel. Yeah, <laughs> and they're like, yeah, just throw this life raft off. I'll just I'll stay die. here. <laughs> I'll just die, I guess. <laughs> So there's, she ties off that rope to herself. Yeah. Right? And the ship is now completely yeah. down <laughs> and sinking. <laughs> That'd be great. She's in the she's in the life raft, and then all of a sudden she just gets yanked out of it <laughs> and drugged down into the fucking. It's like ocean. everybody's dead. <laughs> oh, but so uh, her dad finds her in the in the thing, and they they're getting out and they're dragging his body because we've now watched him drown. He mm. he had his casino royale moment, um, and uh, but not nearly as interesting. Um, and then he uh, so they're dragging his body out of the ship, and they get him up to the life raft. Right. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Basically. Um, and then we spend three whole minutes trying to revive him. Yeah. But to no avail. To no avail. So that I. Okay. So they start doing CPR and this scene lasts forever. She does CPR on him forever. And I'm like, well, one, I think you would need to warm him up a little bit. He's been like frozen for yeah. but sure. Yeah. But she's doing CPR and doing CPR. And I literally, I was like, man, this is really going on. I was like, you know what movie? If in this moment, if, if, she it, she just realizes he's dead and looks sad and then the credits roll A plus and that's exactly what that's happens. exactly what fucking happens and I was not expecting it literally it's like it's the most rushed ending ever it's like she's like CPR 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 and then she's like, uh, oh no. And they all look around sad, and then we get a wide shot of some helicopters, and then the credits roll. And I was like, there's nothing at Which, the end of this also movie. Also, it instantly turns to day yeah. outside. Yeah, when they're in the in the in the life raft, yeah. it's nighttime, but you can see clear as day sunlight coming in like the flap of the fucking life raft that mm. they're in. Um but they actually did it. The credits just roll and he's just dead, and there's no moral. The moral is don't be a, an ass. Don't, your hubris will murder you with cold water <laughs> or something. I uh, That moment was fantastic when the credits just rolled. I was laughing a lot at that. Um, I don't know, Kyle. What about I, you? You're, this is your pick. There, there's enough of the like kind of funny, dumb stuff in this where I want to give it a good, bad. It's not necessarily boring. You won't necessarily... There was there's a some, few boring there's parts. There's some lull yeah, kind of parts. There's some lulls. But the, the kind of like funny shit yeah. will like... You'll be like, the fuck... <laughs> There was some good moments. I'll give you that. I was leaning more towards good b- or bad, bad, but I, I could give, I could see going good, bad. Um, it's a little boring in the middle. Uh, once the shit starts, like in the first 30 minutes, I was like, can we get to the part where the ship sinks? <laughs> like, what are we doing? Let's <laughs> fucking go. Um, that one scene is uh, the, the scene in the doorway is it's amazing, amazing and truly one of the most ridiculous, like, who I need somebody on set Do to you explain how to me what happened. Incredibly simple that scene is. Too. Yeah, it's so unbelievably simple. Yeah, and they made they it made it mind boggling, so confusing and and stupid. And it's just yeah, it's such an easy simple scene, and they made it incomprehensible. And it's just like what is going on? Uh, but that so that was funny. But yeah, I guess like you know what I'm feeling generous, Kyle. We'll give it a good good bad. bad. Yeah. <laughs> That's going to do it for the 97th episode of Good, Better, Bad, Bad. Show me what Cheryl movies tell you if you should, too.
I say that at the beginning. I said it at the end. Yeah. Uh, well, if you want, you can support us on Patreon. Just go to patreon.com slash good, bad, or bad, bad, or GB or BB, I think it is. About um, $2, a $5, and a $10 tier, which doesn't, the $10 doesn't do anything. Do anything but yeah, we yeah, like you more. Yeah. We like you more. Yet. <laughs> we have ideas. Um, <laughs> so, uh, yeah, that's, uh, you can support us on there. You get podcasts, all that good stuff that we always mention. Uh, and you just support us, which is cool, which is why we buy all, how we get all this equipment and stuff. And we're going to be probably doing some more stuff soon because we're going to be, Good chance that this good, bad, or bad, bad studio, studio. 2.0 is it's about to be <laughs> Studio 3.0 because I'm probably moving again very shortly. In the arms of the angel. Ah, Ryan's um, been having fun. I here. love it. I love it. Uh, so this studio may be getting a, 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 a we may be getting a, a different studio once again. I mean, it'll look mostly we'll have the same yeah. stuff, but it'll just be slightly different. Um, and, and maybe we'll have more room. Maybe we'll have less. Room. Less Who walnuts knows? falling on the. There will probably roof. almost certainly be less walnuts falling on the <laughs> roof, and it'll probably be warmer because this room is the coldest room it in the house, and so I don't cold. know why. <laughs> Especially <laughs> during the middle of winter. <laughs> yeah, I have no idea why this room is so cold. Um, uh, I have a podcast called "This Film Is It." We're talking about movies that are based on books. I don't. Know. This we're recording this so far ahead that I have no idea. Uh, one of the ones we did recently with Howl's Moving Howl's Moving Castle. Uh, first Miyazaki. Um, we also recently did The Rescuers, which is based on a book. The Disney film The mm-hmm. Rescuers, which is based on a book. Which, Some, by the way, they didn't see that still frame it has. Yeah, we Rescuers. talked about that in our prequel <laughs> episode. We talked about that, and it's not in any of the like versions that are out now. But it was on the VHS or whatever. Yeah. Or it's like a naked woman in like one frame. Thanks, of, Disney. Yeah, good job. Um, but you couldn't see it on a theatrical projection. But when it was on home release digital video, that's when people were able to notice it because yeah. the frame rate difference or something. So apparently. Um, but yeah, uh, so that's what I do. You can go check that out. Uh, Kyle, you stream on Twitch sometimes. Yep, Twitch.tv under, uh, uh, slash GB or GB BB or BB underscore Kyle. Kyle. Mine's the same, but Brian, I haven't streamed in a long time, but I will eventually. Um, I'm going to be busy because I'm moving. So Yep. Uh, that's it. Until next time, keep watching movies. Especially Titanic 2. It's it's all right. Just watch that fucking door scene. Yeah, <laughs> Just watch great. that lady get crushed by that door. <laughs>